I'm Abby J, and I grew up in Northeast Georgia in Habersham County, and I grew up on the banks of the Soqui River, which we have a great place called Black Hawk Fly Fishing. Today I'm doing that. I have a gourmet line called Abby J's Gourmet, and I have a magazine called Southern Farm and Garden. I stay very busy with all three of these, and I have a Black Hawk family that I really, really love and I love cooking for. And today I am going to show you my recipes at the Ingalls table. So come on and join me as I share my passion with you. Today we're cooking my Abby J's apple tarts with raspberry jelly and brie. For a full list of all the ingredients, check out the shopping list underneath the video player. You can print a list take it with you or pull it up on your smartphone when you're in the store. Now let's get cooking. I'm Abby J and I just got back from Ingalls and I've got a great recipe to share with you today. It's one of my favorites. My fly fishermen love this. It's so easy to make, so let's get started. What I did, I bought uh, the uh, Pepperidge Farm puff pastry sheet. And what you wanna do is spray a pan with olive oil and you want to roll this out like this and then we're going to cut it in like 12 pieces so we want to get 12 pieces out of this one puff pastry sheet and we'll go like this this is really easy to make um, and everybody seems to love it it's also with apples and apples are in season the next step is you take some butter, unsalted butter, you want to brush this uh, pastry down with. And this is greatly paired with any of your red wines for the holidays. It does uh, look really pretty on a dish if you're doing some entertaining in your home this uh, holiday season. I know I'll be making this. And the next step is the apples. I've already sliced the apples. You can use any apples of your choice. Uh, what I do is I soak these in lemonade and what we want to do is assemble these like so on the tart. And if you soak these in lemonade, uh, they don't turn brown. They really add another tex texture of flavor, which I, I really love the tart flavor. If anybody knows me, they know I love lemon, lime, anything with a a little bit of uh, tartness. Uh, so we just get these on there like so. And we're going to bake these for about 12 minutes in the oven on 350. So the last step of this recipe uh, is going to be with the President's Brie. I've already sliced the brie. You can get this at the cheese case at Ingalls. And what you want to do is put two uh, slices on each one and we'll do that uh, this this is really good brie it comes in a nice size to where you you can use it wrap it back up if you don't use all of it then we're gonna put it all in the oven and we'll be right back and show you what we've made it's that time to take our apple tarts out of the oven so here we go uh, these are apple tarts with baked brie on puff pastry sheets and what we're going to do is take each one and put on this really pretty platter. And what I've done is uh, I've got three jellies here. You can put the same kind of jelly but I love to go to Ingles. They have a great variety of jellies. I like raspberry, but I also make my own. I'm a, I am love to preserve and can, and my favorite one is the peach habanero jelly, and that gives this a little spice, it, uh, another texture of flavor in there. But if you don't like the spice, I, I do have a raspberry jam, and then we've got another pepper jelly. Okay, now we're going to put my favorite, which is the habanero peach, on a couple of these. Try some raspberry, so if you don't like any heat, you're gonna love this raspberry. And as I was saying, Ingalls, they do have a great selection of, of jellies, and you can find them at your local Ingalls. And so, and then we've got the pepper, red pepper jelly. 
there's that. And you can make this year round. You can make it for holiday entertaining parties. Uh, it makes a great, great little appetizer, even for breakfast. You can have this for breakfast. So, folks, we are out of time today, but I wanted to thank you so much for joining me at the home of the Ingalls Table. And remember, you can find this recipe and photos, videos, and more on the website at Ingalls Table. Until next time, I'll see you online. Thank you.